I'm Larry Danzinger. I live in Bangor. And I'm speaking in opposition to LD 1781. Uh, I'm concerned about General Dynamics, the company that's actually requesting this uh, tax break, is already receiving at least three other forms of tax breaks through, from the state of Maine through the Pine Tree Development Zones, better tax increment financing. And the concern I have is that I don't think General Dynamics is committed to this state and to the city of Bath. I think it's committed primarily to what's called shareholder primacy, and that is that shareholders come first, that they try to re make as much money as possible because their primary goal is to return money to the tax to the shareholders and not to the, the uh, commitment to the city of Bath or the state of Maine. Uh, and I think what we hopefully can find is a way that uh, companies uh, building ships in this area can have that kind of commitment. My suggestion is that the state of Maine or the city of Bath uh, claim eminent domain over the property there. Uh, there's a Supreme Court case, Kelo versus City of New London, Connecticut, that uh, stated that uh, a government entity can claim uh, ownership of a property if it's for ec uh, specific economic development. And in my mind, while uh, Bath Iron Works is providing economic development, because it doesn't really have a commitment to the area, uh, it could disappear at any moment. Um, I think that uh, as part of that process, then the uh, city or the state could sell that property to, for example, a cooperative made up of Bath uh, Ironwork ship, uh, ship builders, and that it could be operated locally. Um, this would be a, quote, takings that I think would actually promote economic development rather than causing the city and the state to be more dependent on a corporation that does not have a commitment to the area. It certainly would not be a simple process but it would provide an opportunity for BIW to be producing commercial ships or wind turbines or rail cars or something else that would give it more flexibility in terms of its ability to continue to operate on an ongoing basis. So I hope that uh, the legislature will actively consider this suggestion. Thanks. Thank you. Any questions from the committee? Representative Tipping. Thank you, Mr. Chair. How are you doing, Larry? Hey. Uh, I have one question. You, you mentioned that they actually benefit from the employee uh, tax increment financing, but the original bill <coughs> said uh, one of the conditions of receiving the credit was that they did not otherwise qualify for the employment tax increment uh, financing. Is that? Um, I, the list I've seen is that General Dynamics was on that list of um, uh, TIF recipients, but uh, and I just got that from the state recently, so okay. I'm, I'm going with that information. Okay, if anyone has any more information on that for the work session, we'd appreciate it. Representative Cooper. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, uh, just thinking out loud and getting uh, to ask your thoughts on the subject, uh, somewhere uh, sort of um, between uh, your proposal of uh, eminent domain and um, workers co-op, and the existing um, uh, uh, arrangement of uh, uh, General Dynamics owning um, BIW, uh, what would you think of a tax credit that uh, conditions that credit uh, those funds to be used <coughs> only at the BIW site and community? Well, right now, General Dynamics is the one requesting it, the, the tax break. Is that correct? So we don't know where that money is going to go. If it were restricted to the Bath area, that would be helpful, I think, because it's indicating a greater commitment to the local community, to the local um, economic <coughs> development. Anything that supports local economic development, any technique that does that would be better than, than not doing that. Any further questions from the committee? Rep Senator Cushing. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for joining us today mm -hmm. to express your concerns. You, you, you talk about the eminent domain issue. Mm -hmm. As I read that and recollect it in Kelo versus the City of New London, Connecticut, there were private residences that right. were taken for the purpose of developing a mall. Exactly, yes. If I'm not mistaken, that turned into a disaster because the it mall was. never was promoted. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about a viable business that employs over 5,000 people that you think we should take over as a state when... Because it doesn't have the commitment to the local community, whereas a worker cooperative would be made up of people who are based locally, they're not going anywhere for sure. Wow. It does have advantages, and cooperatives have been known to be more solid businesses in terms of how they operate on a long-term basis than for-profit corporations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any further questions from the committee? Seeing none, we thank you for your testimony. Uh, Mark Roman Solon. Hmm. Draw a map or... Well, I'm um, roughly. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I can't make that up. No, can't make it up. <laughs>